as a marketing professional in an educational institution, our independently enrolled product services have been selling remarkably well. However, currently, various other traditional and emerging educational institutions have been imitating our strategy, adopting a follower's approach with notably competitive pricing. They mimic our marketing strategies and reference our pricing, resulting in the loss of a substantial number of customers for us. Consequently, our marketing costs are escalating. How can we resolve this situation? Step 1. Deconstructing the scenario losing the first mover advantage. Many companies enter an industry ahead of competitors due to policy support, market gaps, or technological advancements. Holding a temporary advantage known as the first mover advantage. However, as profits increase, more competitors inevitably enter the industry, eroding the initial advantage. Being caught up by peers is an anticipated outcome. In such situations, businesses must convert their first mover advantage into unique competitive strengths. Otherwise, competitors will diminish your profits, forcing you into price-based competition. This phenomenon is prevalent in the later stages of competition in many industries. Step 2. Basic logic thinking from the perspective of the business energy model. The core aspects of running a business are product, marketing, and distribution channels. The product is akin to a massive stone, pushing it to its peak to gain maximum potential energy and then leveraging marketing and channels to reduce resistance. Converting potential energy into kinetic energy for the broadest possible user coverage. Product, marketing, and channels serve as the starting point for analyzing numerous business issues. Product, pursuing quantifiable, guaranteed results. In the education industry, the most crucial factor influencing user decisions is the effect, especially quantifiable and assured effects rather than pricing. For an educational product, the most critical aspect should be its effectiveness. If the results can be quantified and guaranteed, competition becomes straightforward and direct. For instance, if someone intends to take the GMAT exam for admission to us MBA program and scores 500 initially, but through our training, they can achieve 700 that's quantifiable. Ensuring completion of this course guarantees reaching a certain score in the exam. Otherwise, retraining is provided until the benchmark is met are measures that are assured. This sets your product apart within its category. Efforts should focus on consolidating the initial advantage into course reputation and effectiveness by developing unique, practical, and well-reputed courses. Because all subsequent promotional marketing relies on the excellence of your product quality. Without high quality standards, all suggestions are meaningless. It is crucial to ensure the superior quality of your product first. Marketing, establishing trust. In the education market, asymmetry of information causes the main concern not to be about spending money, but rather the uncertainty regarding the expected outcomes of purchasing a product. Establishing trust becomes significantly crucial in marketing. Emphasize brand value and the institution's educational experience, track alumni progress, provide past academic performance, and even invite former students to share their experiences. Highlight your establishment's earlier inception, extensive teaching experience, higher student enrollment success rates, and numerous successful cases. These factors build trust in consumers and constitute the core value and purpose of marketing. Channels, multiple promotions through cross-industry alliances. We previously discussed the concept of cross-industry alliances in the practical course. In essence, the aim of cross-industry alliances is to collaborate with institutions most compatible with your product for promotions. For educational products, these institutions include bookstores, stationery shops, tutoring centers, high schools, or universities, where offering trial class discounts leads to potential purchases, serving as an effective method for attracting customers. Offer a seven-day, no questions, ask refund policy for dissatisfied customers after completing seven classes. Convert select excellent courses into online modules for user experience while providing feedback channels to optimize services. Offer multiple standardized services to reset pricing anchors. For instance, one service might comprise offline classes for a semester, while another service includes offline classes for a semester plus recorded versions of these classes and electronic classroom notes. Both priced similarly. Step 3 industry-specific prospective product grades and referral rates. 
product grades basis for formulating product strategies. Generally, we categorize products or services a company provides into three levels. Whether it's producing cups, computers, or services provided by restaurants, they aim to fulfill users' needs across three levels, functional, experiential, and personalized. It's like dining, being very hungry and needing to feel full functional, desiring a meal in a rotating restaurant with beautiful violin music, experiential, or receiving personalized attention such as having a server inquire if they should uncork the half bottle of wine you had last time and importing your favorite oysters from France, categorizing your product into different levels. For the individual posing this question, your first task is to assess. Does your product primarily fulfill users' functional, experiential, or personalized needs? Because marketing and distribution for different educational products with varying demands vary significantly. However, if it's experiential, competitors might stress learning effectiveness. While you could highlight the enjoyment of learning, interactive learning between teachers and students, and enhance satisfaction with the learning experience. For a personalized product, you must arrange personalized learning plans for students, emphasize your one-on-one -on -one advantages, and perhaps in the process of learning, develop a unique bond between the teacher and the student, and establish an irreplaceable relationship with the institution. This is because only your teacher and institution understand the individual's needs. Referral rates transforming existing students into your marketing outlet. Moreover, many educational institutions find it challenging as they continuously need to attract new students. However, you need to establish a new mindset, aligning traffic, marketing, channels, and your product. For many English or piano training institutions, most new students come from referrals by former students or their parents. Only by constantly having former students and parents recommend their neighbors and friends to study at your institution. Can you become an ever-expanding educational establishment? Only referrals from old users can prove the quality of your product. If you observe that your old users have a low referral rate, it should be a warning sign that your product is not sustainable. If people have used your product but are unwilling to recommend it to others, you'll forever rely on channels and advertising for marketing. However, advertising and traffic costs will only increase over time, whereas referral rates are free. Only by turning those who were referred into your traffic by encouraging them to share via Facebook or other means can they become your marketing outlet. At this point, you'll notice that your product, marketing, and channels align perfectly. Here, I'd suggest setting a standard for yourself. Ensure that 85% of your students are referred by former students or their parents. Put this standard on display, demanding yourself and your team to figure out how to achieve this. If achieving 85% is unattainable, consider lowering it to 60%, meaning more than half of your students come from referrals by former parents. If you can't even meet this, it's not just a warning sign. It might mean survival is in question. In summary, I've presented strategies from the perspectives of the business energy model, marketing, and channels. While introducing two new concepts specific to the education institution, product grades and referral rates. Understanding product grades is crucial before formulating marketing strategies, whereas improving referral rates is a common challenge for traditional educational institutions and similar industries. Only by enhancing referral rates can one stand out in the market.